Yes! Yes! Get in there, you beauties! Yes, sir! It's me, Stephen Carroll, the Northern Barrel, and I'm just so over the moon right now. Because why? England bloody got through to quarter-final for the first time since, nine, well, not 96, since 2006. They got through to the quarter-final, and also they made history by breaking the mould for once. And what was that? Penalties. Yeah, I don't think I've seen them win a penalty shootout since 96. And 2006, I think. Anyway, yes, England got a um, penalty shootout in the end because the match went on to extra time and then it went to the penalties. And I have to admit, I was shitting bricks when it did that because I was thinking, oh, fucking hell, we're fucked here. But then... England actually, you know, did it. You know, I think it's because, you know, they're doing it because, well, you know, they've done everything different this time round. We don't have Wayne Rooney, thank God. Because, you know, I don't think he made out good about it and shit. Also, um, also, I think we got Gareth. Gareth Southgate. You know, he's just like, you know, he treats the lads as if they're his family. And that, because probably because he were in England, well, football at one time. But yeah, you know, he knows what he's doing with his lads. So, you know, I've got faith in him and all. I've got faith in the whole England team. Because I've got to admit, when I was, you know, seeing this coming, I was like thinking England aren't going to make it through. They're not going to make it through group stage. They can't, they don't even try for laugh at them anymore. But my God, have they proved me wrong. They won the two group games. Lost the one group game, but hey, like I said, that was a minor error. But they bloody did it again. I mean, it were like, you know, 1-1 in the end, and it was in extra time. But thank fuck they got through them penalties, because I really were hoping that they could make it through, and they actually did, you know, and I was over the moon. In fact, I was shouting so loud, you know, I was like shouting and sh stuff. My lad, I could hear him upstairs in his bedroom going, Yes, 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 I fucking love you. He's only like 11 years old, and I was like thinking, What's your swearing, son? And then uh, the, my mum, he was like bringing him a hot cup of cocoa up or something. When she came back down, she said she left cocoa outside his bedroom, at bedroom and said, Just like his granddad, that one. I hope my dad's not hearing that, because, well, let's just say him and my mum are not on good terms. You know, because she left when I was like, young and that. And now she's coming back into my life. Oh, I, I, I'm not discussing my personal family life. Anyway, let's see how over, over the moon my dad is over there in Russia. Because he was there when, when it happened and shit. Oh, I, I was well over the moon when that happened. I was like, finally, thank fuck England, I've actually beat a penalty shootout. For the first time in fucking ages. I was so over the moon and so overjoyed in relief and that. That I didn't even bother to get into a fight after. I just had a bro down with the Colombian. With a Colombian bloke. Going. What's up bra? Yeah. Yeah you disrespected me bra. And he was like. You're disrespecting me bra. I'm going. What's that story bra? Sweetie Todd bra. Why the fuck does this hotel room have a fan? Oh hi, um, Stephen son, um, would you be able to identify genital wart? I, I, I don't know, I, I imagine that would be something you'd check with, with your doctor about. It's just, you know, uh, yeah but dad, dad, I'm, I'm not an expert, yeah alright, um, 
I think you should go and see a Russian doctor or something. It, 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 it burns, son, when I piss. Because, you know, I mean, I met this Colombian lass after and we got off and that and, well, she were a fat one and all. Hey, hang on a minute. Did you just see your man's back here? Thank you, Dad. All right then, so, um, yes, we're through to the quarter-final. If we get through this one, then it'll be the first time, I think, since 1990 that we got through to the, you know, semi-final. And then if we make it to the final, it'll be the first time, probably, I think, since 1970. And if we win, that'd be bloody amazing, since 1966. It'll be the first time in my lifetime it ever happened. It'll be the first time in my dad's lifetime, because my dad's young and all. My dad was like 14 when he had me. Oh, that's why it's turned out how he is. Total knob. Anyway, yes. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yes, our fingers crossed. Right, and our toes crossed. And believe. Believe and we will win. Because I think we can do this now. I'm hoping to God, I'm praying to God, especially the football gods. I'm praying that England will leave this World Cup with two stars on the shirts. If they do, I might get a tattoo saying England World Champions 2018. And I'll get an extra in there for free. So then it'll be like, you know, I got extra O for free. So who's the idiot there? You know, like in that film Grimsby earlier with 2016 for him. But no, let's hope England can do this. I believe in it now. You've got my faith back in me, England. So believe it. Let's back our country now. Let's fucking do it. Let's have it. Whoa! Ho, whoa! Eat my girl! Eat my girl. Say eat my girl!